Peter here with you again for this third and final little video in talking about relationships. And today we're going to look at more the deeper structure of how we know we're loved. And as always, I'm going to be sort of talking more about a partner or a spouse, but in fact these same principles can be used across the board with uh, family or friends or to know you're being respected and honoured in a relationship, say at work, etc. Um, but we're going to talk about how we know we're being loved or honoured and this is to do with actually the strategy that we run in our mind. In other words, different people walk around in the world with different ways of both knowing and doing things in their head. For example, some people are introverted, some people are extroverted, some people like to be leaders, some people like to be followers, others like change, other people like um, things to stay the same. So we're all different. Now, in terms of love, I have seen probably the best and simplest way this is put together in terms of a relationship is in a book by Gary Chapman called The Five Languages of Love. No doubt you may have even heard of it. If not, I recommend you go out and look at it. And I'm just going to simply plagiarise this because it's really one of the best and simplest ways to tackle this area which in psychology we call meta programs and just concentrate on the, the few that are important in a, in a relationship, in a loving relationship. And the first of these is words of affirmation. So some people really need to be told that they're loved or respected or honoured. And you need to, um, you know, every few days, you know, oh, that was a lovely thing you did for me. I love you so much or I respect you or I honor what you're doing. Um, I know I try to make a point uh, even with my employees to say how grateful I am, for example, of uh, all the work they do for me. So that's words of affirmation. But some people aren't so um, moved by words and they want to see it in acts of service, you know. Get out there in the garden and do something. Take the kids out for a run or help with the dishes or help at work. And this is acts of service. So um, acts of service means demonstrating your respect or your love to the other person. Now the third one is sometimes it's gifts. So sometimes you need um, to actually come home with a bunch of flowers or presents or take someone out to dinner and that is like a real demonstration that you're thinking of them and you think of them of something special. So that's the third uh, love language. The fourth one might simply be quality time. So all of this stuff is irrelevant but if you simply spend time with a loved one and I mean true, truly listening to them without the TV on and that, giving a hundred percent of your full attention for them at certain periods every day or every few days, then that connection, that deeper connection, is um, what they want in order for them to know that they're being heard, being respected and being loved. And then the final and fifth uh, love language is that of physical touch. So for some people they actually need to be hugged and touched and held hands or more intimate if you're in an intimate relationship and that is important for a person to know that they're being loved. So all of these five langu love languages, it's great to know, first of all, what your own love language is, of course, but also what your partner's love language is. And if you can imagine, because let's say my first love language might be um, quality time, then I assume that everyone's love language is the same and I'll go and give quality time. But if another person's love language is um, acts of service, there I am sitting with them and what they really want me to do is get off my bum and do something to show that I love them, then there's going to be a mismatch. So you find your love language and your partner's love language, communicate that to each other and then try to fulfill your partner's love language. Now if you want more information on this, uh, have a look for the five love languages. You'll find it online. There's surveys to help you find out what your love language. And then if you want to go further still, you can research meta programs to elicit people's, you know, love strategies and attraction strategies and things like that. So it's a, a huge field, but those few tips might uh, help you in creating not only a better relationship with your spouse, but you might find 
um, with all people around you if you can find out how they know they can be loved, respected and honoured. Thanks. Thanks.